So we last left you on our first overnight adventure since COVID hit the USA. We're still waiting for a few more components to arrive for our van build. So instead of just waiting around, we decided to take a day trip to our 20th national park, Mammoth Cave. I forget I'm wearing that thing now. I know. Coffee. Or Eighth and roast. Eight and roast. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> We're starting the day off right with coffee here in Nashville because we took a little road trip this morning. We are on our way to Mammoth Cave National Park. I've never been there. Chris is from Kentucky and has been there, but he was what? Second grade or something? Yeah, they took me for a, a elementary like what are those called? Field trip. Field trip. <laughs> yeah. So we are, I was in a field trip. The only thing I remember about it is that they turned off the lights and you couldn't see your hand. Today's going to be a little bit different though, just because they do have some changes to their tours and that kind of thing, just because of COVID. I don't think we're going to be able to do that because it's a self-guided tour, unless they're going to let us just turn the lights off ourselves. And I seriously doubt that. Anyway, we we're about an hour and a half from Mammoth Cave. We've got a couple things planned today. All right. Let's go. You want to go to a cave? Get my honest answer. <laughs> a lot. So how do you how do you feel about caves? I don't love the idea. I've always said that I I've never done a cave. But the idea of being trapped underground just is not appealing to me. Scuba diving and caving never interested me. But Chris has done a lot of things that I wanted to do that he didn't want to do. So today I'm doing something for him. I like caves. I may love it. I don't know. I, I'm hoping I'm pleasantly surprised, but the idea of being in a dark, damp, underground, rocky room just does not sound fun to me. That's disgusting, no matter what you <laughs> say. <laughs> oh. Let's go. So we're starting here. And then it goes all the way down. I don't know how far we're going though. I think we're going all the way to where they don't know where it goes. It's not funny. This is fun. This is fun. Trying new things. Yay. So they said that it's gonna, hang on. They said it's gonna be, what, 58 degrees? 54, something like that? 54 degrees, cave. yeah. So when you come here, you get tickets. It's like a show. But it's not a show, it's a tour, self-guided tour. Something to note though, they offer several different tours at Mammoth Cave, but because of COVID, they're only offering one tour, and instead of it being a guided tour, it's actually been modified to be self-guided. So our experience is gonna be pretty different than what maybe you experience or have experienced in the past. But we're still excited. I mean, I think we're just, I don't, I, this is like the introductory she, tour to a she's cave. She's trying <laughs> to be excited right now. Like she's no. really trying to be excited, but like, she's not looking forward to going into this deep dark hole in the ground with thousands of feet above you. So my maybe not so irrational fear is I am scared of caves and what if there's an earthquake and I get trapped in there? People get trapped in caves all the time. I don't know. I'll be fine. If Batman can live in a cave, so can we. That's the only reason you're excited. I know it is. Let's go. Holy smoke. Sarah, are you nervous? A little bit. It's a bigger room than I thought. I was really scared, but this is cool. I gotta talk quiet because it's really loud in here. When you talk, everything echoes. But there's, when you come down into the cave, there's two different trails. One's half a mile and one's three quarters of a mile each way. This is incredible. This is so cool. I wasn't expecting it.
staying close to the light. We can't hold anything up to our faces. We just finished the first trail and we're gonna do the second one that's about a little bit longer than this one's about a mile and a half total. There are over 390 miles of pathways in this cave. This is by far the largest cave in the world. So they said it keeps going and going and going. They haven't even discovered all of it yet. So we're just getting a tiny little fraction of this thing and it's incredible. It's, I'm not scared. I thought I was gonna be terrified and I'm not scared <laughs> yet. This is kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my glasses keep fogging up. How you feeling? I feel good. This is, okay. I don't know that I would have come to Mammoth Cave and gone straight into doing one of the more intensive tours where you're crawling or something like that. I probably would have started with this and I'm glad we had to start with this because I definitely want to come back and do another one. I think it was, this is really neat. I'd love to see more of the caves. So when you think of Mammoth Cave, you probably think of a cave. But there's a lot of history here too. There's buildings like this. Look at this. I'm gonna. Sorry. It's this old church building. So we read online that what is now Mammoth Cave National Park, it's composed of thousands of acres, but in those thousands of acres, there used to be about 30-something communities, and in those communities, there were about 600 and something families. And the church was sort of the community center for each of those communities. And so of all that, there's three remaining churches. There were probably more back then, but there's three churches that are still standing inside the park that you can go inside and just see. They've been pretty well preserved. It's pretty cool. It's a little piece of history. <laughs> Somebody set up pennies. Oh look, somebody put their coins down here. I wonder how old this is. 2018. So the building's leaning front to back and then side to side. Yeah, look at it, it is leaning, isn't it? And you can see it because they have like old beadboard for the walls or whatever this is, but. Oh yeah, look. You can see the lines, it's definitely are not straight. Hey, stand behind the pulpit. Look how short that thing is. so good out here. Yeah, it does. Fall is here, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. It's the first cool day we've had. So, so good. But we're just doing this little tiny walk, going to a sinkhole. So if you don't know, with caves comes sinkholes too. It is on me. What? It never fails you kill a bug. I didn't kill Every... it. I don't even know if it was a bug. I don't know what that was. It was probably a bug. <laughs> no. You know, this comment's gonna sound ignorant, but I honestly didn't know Mammoth Cave had trails, which is a very pleasant surprise here. I just thought it was a huge cave. 
There's Sarah, leaving me in the dust. Coming. Yeah. <laughs> I may have already found an ice cream shop down there, so we can get ice cream if we do this trail. So here we are, power walking. <laughs> we gotta, gotta hurry up. <laughs> in an ideal world, we would be finished with our van. Make sure I don't sit behind me. We'd be finished with our van and we'd be here camping, but because it's not done, we're saving money and trying to be socially responsible. So we're not getting a hotel. So this is just a day trip for us. But if we were to camp, we really, really wanted to, you can rent a canoe or a kayak or use your own if you already have it. And you can actually canoe or kayak down the Green River, which goes through the park. There's like 30 something miles of it in the park. But what's really cool is that in one part, you actually get a canoe through a little tiny cave. I thought it was really cool. Oh, wow. Oh, check that out. It's beautiful. So is this the sinkhole then? This may be the sinkhole. So that's an underwater river. This is just one little section where it comes out of the ground. How cool. really pretty yeah it is so i love that this is only three and a half hours away from where we're living hey come here I'm laughing you. i know she's laughing me right now <sighs> this is only three and a half hours from where we're staying but it's only an hour and a half from where you're from originally it's true it's been really fun to like rediscover our backyard um I, I've been having fun doing this because these are places that we, you know those places where you're like, oh, I'll I need there. to go there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. And then you never get there. We've passed by this exit dozens of times since yeah. we've been married, just going back and forth between our families. And we've never really stopped. We always say, oh, we'll catch it next time. We'll catch it next time. Well, now's the perfect time. <laughs> now's the next time. so glad we finally did. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I think... I got past my fear of caves. To an extent, I don't, I'm never gonna go spelunking, spelunking, however you say it. I'm never gonna be like a cave connoisseur, or aficionado, whatever the word is. I'm not gonna be a cave enthusiast. But I would be willing to do another cave tour in Mammoth Cave, and maybe elsewhere. We still gotta hit Carlsbad. Yeah, I would, uh, yeah. So, and I wanna see a bat. Yeah, we haven't seen the bats. All right, I think we're gonna hike back up the stairs. An ice cream? Ice cream. You gotta hurry though, they close in 30 minutes. This is the only real reason we vlog, so we can eat. All right, let's go. This isn't good. 